Hey guys, it looks like our first attempt to hatch our quail eggs was a complete fail. So in today's video, we're gonna get in there and see if we can find out why. So we put 70 of our eggs in here and I don't think fertility was a problem because before we set these in here, I took five or six eggs out of that batch and checked them all and 100% and of them were fertile. So, you know, and I don't expect that 100% of these were fertile, but you know, five or six out of five or six uh, to be fertile, I thought that was a good sign. So we went ahead and, and set these in here. Now I do have a suspicion as to what the problem is. Um, and I think it's one of the components in here which is gonna be this hydrometer. I suspect that it's a little faulty. So I think before we get into checking these eggs and open them up and see if there was any development or anything, I think we need to uh, kind of surgically take a look at this guy and see if there's any uh, defective parts in it. Let's go take it over to the workshop and see what we can find. Gotta have a clean, every surgeon needs a good, clean table. So, set it there. I'm gonna go find uh, something to open this up gently. I think this will work. So, there, let's see here. Oh, that thing's tougher than I thought. Now that we can get in there and kind of see all the little components of it, screen was faulty. Let's see here. Hmm, got some loose connected wires. Let's see here. It's a magnet. Oh, I found the problem right there. Now I don't know why this matters, but anytime they stamp made in China on a product, it just doesn't seem to last for some reason. I don't know what that has to do with it, but anyway, there's our problem right there. So, and I suspected this was a problem all along. Now to find a hydrometer not made in China, good luck with that. So the only thing better than one hydrometer made in China is to order a four pack of them made in China. So those are coming tomorrow in the mail. My hope is out of the four, if I plug them all in, put them in there, and then I can compare if, if I've got one that's off or maybe all four of them will give me a different reading, who knows. But anyway, I'm glad we solved that. So now that we've identified one problem in our system, let's get a few of these eggs and we'll cut them open and just see if there was any development. And I'll go ahead and tell you, feeling these right here, these are really lightweight. There's, there's a lot of air in there. So after hatching those last uh, 70 eggs or so, um, I really was expecting them to be dried out. Um, I felt like it, it just felt dry in there, even though my hydrometer was reading that it was like 70 or 80 percent towards the end. Um, it just didn't feel like that. So that was going to be my first thought is that's what we we're going to crack open just a bunch of dry shells. Um, but we didn't. So what I want to do next is I've got six eggs that I was it's from the next batch that we we're going to incubate. So let's go ahead and crack these six and then we'll check and see if they're fertilized. So what we'll do is we'll just open them up and what we're looking for is like basically like a little bullseye on the yolk. So this one, if you look right there, can you see that little, there's a, another white dot on there. So I think these are all fertilized. Here, let me dump this one out so you can see this one better. See that white? Right there, that's a good white dot. It's got like a little ring around it. I don't know if that ring's gonna show up in the camera. So that's definitely a fertilized egg. The other two were kinda, I could, wasn't real clear to me. So 
So I, I don't think fertilization is our problem on these. Um, so, um, so we'll see, we'll, we got the new hydrometers coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna set up the incubator and before I put eggs in, I may put the water in the tray and set all the hydrometers in there and get a reading and just see what they say before we go through this process again. And hopefully that's our problem and it'll be resolved um, getting a hydrometer that actually reads right. So um, we'll, we'll see.